why December could be a huge month for NEO stock. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. Look, I got the clothing like to prove that fact and today we are speaking about NEO. So there's a few things I want to cover in today's video and specifically why I think that this incredible run may not come to a halt just yet. Now if you've seen my videos on NEO over the last couple of weeks, you know that I ultimately think that this run cannot last forever and quite a considerable pullback is coming at some stage. When that is, who knows. But I think they could keep running up in December. A few reasons for this. One is the EV market in general is just on an absolute tear, my friends. It is absolutely crazy. We had this trend line here going for about two weeks non-stop respecting it more or less. We came down a little bit and we've actually been somewhat consolidating for the better part of a week now. We're going to have to wait and see what the next couple of days bring, but maybe we're going to get some new trend lines or some new even support and resistance. I want to speak about what the analysts are saying because analysts are only getting more and more bullish on this company. We'll speak of Bank of America's takeaways on NEO's 2021 plans, okay? I want to speak about this because I actually think this is a fantastic article, NEO in October 2020. And one of the big reasons why I believe December could be big for NEO is this, NEO's fourth annual NEO day coming in January. So my friends, right before we get into the video, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button, help your boy out, why not, it's free. Drop me a comment down below, just let me know how you're feeling about NEO right now. And please, if you are new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button, join the family of investors, why not? If you're interested in joining my private Discord group, hit that first link in the description, but wait until tomorrow. You get charged the first of every month with Patreon, so wait until tomorrow. In there you get access to my buy and sell alerts, I plan on buying potentially two brand new companies today, and access to over 40 private channels, and if you want 4 free stocks, 2 of which are valued up to $3,700, hit the second link in the description, sign up to Weeble, deposit $100, it's that simple, it's free money my friends, it doesn't love free money, especially going into December. So guys, here we are, we're having a look at the chart, first of all, this stage of consolidation is happening at literal all time highs, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping that this can continue for another day or two, I really want to see if you know we can create some resistance, create some support potentially, just trade like a normal stock for a couple of days maybe, but more on the price action later. So the first thing I want to go through that's very short is this, Neo stock gets another buy rating after its epic run, and this came from a company called North East Securities, and they launched coverage of the Chinese electric vehicle maker with a buy rating and a $55 price target. As of this moment in time, Neo is $54. They have been above $55. So there is a buy rating, but it represents essentially no upside, let's be honest. But still, it's a buy rating. They're bullish nonetheless. Now, Bank of America, a similar story. Anybody who's involved with NEO will know Bank of America is bullish on NEO. And here's some of their takeaways on their 2021 plans. So the first thing they have to say is they've maintained a buy rating on NEO again with a $54.70 price target. So they're maintaining a buy rating, but offering essentially no upside. It's just quite odd to see. The NEO thesis, okay, so their positive view on NEO is predicated on its long-term share gain potential in the premium EV market and improving profitability along with rising scale. Now, this article doesn't give us the most information in regards to that, but this one that we're going to spend a good bit of time on does. This is a fantastic article. So, NEO is planning to introduce its first sedan model, which could very much so be a big boost for the company, and reveal more details on NP2 at its NEO day schedule for January 21, very early January 21 as well. The NP2 is NEO's next vehicle platform that's expected to boast advanced autonomous driving features. So as of right now, they are considerably behind Tesla in regards to autonomy, but they're on their heels. They could be there within a year or two, but I think Tesla is always going to be ahead. The company is modeling vehicle gross margins of about 15 to 20% over the long term, which is incredible considering they were negative what, six months ago? NEO plans to expand point of sales, including NEO houses and NEO spaces, from 187 to 200 by the end of 2020, and add another 100 in 2021. Big expansion, fast expansion. The EV maker is planning to start building its second generation battery swap stations in the second quarter of 2021. 300 stations likely to be built in 21. The rapidly expanding battery swap network, according to the analysts, will further improve the NEO user experience. Makes a lot of sense. And guys, I think this is why NEO has been going up so much as of late, and why I do think it could have some steam left in the tank, despite me wanting a pullback to happen at some stage. When you're investing in a company, you're investing in, in the future, you know, you're not investing in today or tomorrow, you're investing in what you think they're going to do six months down the line, at least one or two months down the line, years down the line. And we can see that Neo has a lot of exciting things set up 
pretty much continually going all the way up until the end of 2022 right now. So there's always going to be a buzz around this company for at least a couple of years. Neo expressed confidence in defending its market share against traditional OEMs and I certainly think they'll be able to do that, which are planning a foray into the high-end EV market as the company believes it takes a long time to build brand equity and consumer perception. And I think that's most certainly true. And what's important to understand guys about these traditional OEMs, these ICE vehicle makers, they're trying to convert an ICE vehicle to an electric vehicle whereas the actual companies who revolve around being an electric vehicle company build them from the ground up for that purpose and there's a lot that goes into that i spoke about that with everybody from Lowerstown, everybody from Wirecourse, everybody from Green Power Motors, that's something that's very important to all of those people. Building it from the ground up to be a productive EV vehicle, not just an ICE vehicle with a battery thrown into it. So there's some of the very obvious catalysts that Bank of America are laying out to, you know, justify its price targets. Now this here, okay, Seekin Alpha. I know we give guys online a lot of hardship about the articles that they put out there, okay? But these guys right here at Equal Ocean, this is a fantastic article. So Neo in October 2020. Decent fundamentals eclipse Citroen's plug pulling. So you'll all probably be aware of the short report that came out by Citroen. Didn't really do anything to Neo in all fairness. So that was still a sign that the bulls are very, very much so in control here. Their summary, okay? They look into five areas. The market, competition, profitability, infrastructure, and technical risks to describe Neo's performance in October. Passenger EV sales, Neo's share in China's EV market, update of the model, and we give Neo a hold rating. So here they have a chart, EV penetration tracker. And you can see that pretty much from the start of this year, they were very low. I mean, they were back at 2018 levels, okay? But we've been on a nice run all year long. EV penetration in China has been going up and up and up. And everything that's been put out to us would represent that that does not intend to slow down over the next literal 15 plus years. So in October, China's passenger car sales were down pretty much 0.2% month on month, but up 8.09% year over year. So the markets bounced back. China's passenger EV sales increased 18.4% month over month and 124% year over year. We see the penetration rate for the electric vehicles, okay, increasing to 7.1%, up an absolute 1.1% month over month, 3.7% year over year. That is massive, people. Massive. And that is consistent with Neo, XPEV, and Lee's raised sales figures. So the sales and competitors trackers, this orange box right here is Neo. You can see that they are getting more of the market share. This year in particular, they've been getting a lot more. So it went up 0.4% from the prior month. I mean, guys, if you can do that consistently, this company's going up without a doubt. So here's their profit tracker, okay? And they say, spurred by economics of scale, Neo is projected to break even in the fourth quarter of 2022. Guys, that would be exciting. Now they have a technical risk tracker here. Most of them come down to incidents that happened with batteries, but there still isn't too many examples of this, but it's not good to see anyway. Now, aside from that, there was an incident with a tire, and in November there was an incident with a control iron ball, but not too much. So the incident so far is not very high. This does show that Neo will have to focus on the quality of their cars, trying to fix one of the largest pain points of EVs, the battery fires. You cannot afford to have that happening. That could absolutely ruin a company. So they give Neo a hold rating due to its relatively high current valuation. More Chinese consumers are accepting Neo's cars with the entire market showing resilience in the year end. These factors will help Neo boost deliveries in the following months. And I have to agree. I'm still of the opinion that a lot of the growth has happened in the very short term at least. Long term, I still am very, very bullish on this company. But I don't think it's possible to keep going up a couple hundred percent every month is all I'm trying to say. Now with all of that being said, here's one big reason why I think Neo's bullish momentum could continue into the end of this year and into the start of next year as well. They're in Neo Day coming in January. So normally this is held in December, but it's been pushed back. And as of right now, it will be held January 9th, 2021. The company confirmed this to Benzinga as well. Now I have not seen the same kind of hype be created for Neo Day as we saw for say Tesla's battery day. And you probably remember Tesla's battery day was absolutely fantastic. But despite that, it didn't really move the stock. People had their expectations set so, so, so high that even a fantastic battery day wasn't enough to move them. Now, I don't see that same level of excitement for Neo Day as of yet. Maybe because, you know, this is the first time they're going to have one where there's a lot of new people watching the company. Even last year, nowhere near as many people would have been interested in this company. So I am very excited to see how they handle that. Like, how are they going to handle all of these eyes? Are they going to be able to produce some really big news? Are they going to be able to keep the bulls bullish? Are they going to be able to fight the bears away? Are they going to give us reasons to be excited? As of right now, I'm very excited just to see what happens with this. So obviously, Neo Day, the company will usually showcase new technology and products. We all know about the new battery it's going to be exciting. They're expected to launch a new high-performance, premium, all-electric sedan. 
the ET7 at the event. That would be fantastic. And I think that's what, you know, the real new investors, the real long-term investors are hoping to see. Because it could just be another way to help them penetrate the market, another way to help them get their market share up, I should say. And that's ultimately what we want to see. Hopefully as well, there'll be good margins on this vehicle and we can continue seeing that 15 to 20 plus percent vehicle margin. So you can imagine that the ET7 will likely compete against Tesla's Model S. So this is their answer to the Model S. I'm excited, I really am. So look, there's been so much bullish momentum for a very long time now. From, you know, pretty much the end of October, there's been nothing but upwards movements. And I mean, it's, it's been absolutely awesome. It's been fantastic. Now, if you've been in NEO for a long time, I mean, a lot of us got in around here, around 12 to 15 maybe. With NEO, there's always been big moves up and down, but there's always been quite big periods of consolidation. Then a big move, then consolidation. And now it's just been a big move, let's be completely honest. And when I say a period of consolidation, I don't mean what we've seen over the last four days. I mean something like this. I mean literally weeks, if not more than a month. Now, I realistically don't see that happening. There is too much hype here. There are so many people involved in this company right now. I either see us continuing going up to the moon or else that sharp pullback that I've been speaking about for a long time on the channel now. But I do think going into the end of this year, they have momentum on their side. They have the broader EV market on their side. Everybody's throwing money at absolutely everything. But guys, that was just an update video on Neo. A couple of things to keep your eyes out for pretty much, my friends. If you watched this video all the way until the end, you, my friend, are a true legend and I appreciate you being here from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed, took some value, some insight, some entertainment, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps me out drop me a comment down below let me know how you feel about neo right now are you buying are you holding are you maybe trimming since you're probably made a lot of money and if you are indeed new around here please consider hitting that juicy red subscribe button remember that patreon is the first link in the description but they will charge you twice if you sign up today as they charge the first of every month so wait until tomorrow but you're going to want to be in there the last four companies we bought are all up over 75 percent one of them's up 140 percent and i'm probably buying two new companies today and if you do want your four free stocks hit the second link in the description sign up to webull and deposit $100. Two of those stocks are valued up to $3,700. It's free money. It supports me. We both make some money. Anyway, my friends, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you with another video very soon. Peace.